Hello and welcome to everybody on the replay. Let me know how you're doing in the comments and please make sure to comment um, also how the session went for you so that I can follow up with you there and then. I'm gonna wait one minute to give everybody who's live time to come online. <clears throat> Good, let's get started. <clears throat> so today's topic is rejection versus worthiness. So most of us grow up without feeling that we are completely loved just for who we are, that our worth is innate to our being. When things got hard during our childhood for our parents, then we often felt like it must be our fault. Since we were not able to distinguish yet between ourselves and others and circumstances. <clears throat> and also, we weren't able to distinguish between us and our actions and our words. So when we got criticized as children, then we took that to mean that something with us as who we are must be wrong. So that creates um, the belief I'm, I'm not wanted. And um, it makes us feel unworthy of fully participating in life now as an adult. And it, it's what leads to unfulfilling jobs and relationships where we feel rejected. So it's really time to reclaim our innate worthiness and um, and clear up that misunderstanding that um, most of us have received in our childhoods. <clears throat> so let's start that work with our um, inner child healing session for today, which is also a forgiveness session, and you'll see why. And what I really wanted to say before we start is that in our last session, we have taken our inner child back to the stone circle um, with us and from now on, we will collect her there and then take her back with us to the specific childhood scene that is relevant um, to each session. We're not going to go into a childhood scene with every session, but with many of them. So what's, um, what you might be wondering, <clears throat> you know, your inner child might um, change her appearance each time. For each session, um, a different um, inner child is, you know, is irrelevant. It's like, you know, there's lots of inner, inner children that we have. They're like all those bits and pieces of us that sort of got frozen in time at exactly that time in our childhood where something happened that we couldn't fully integrate or where a certain um, negative belief was created. <clears throat> So yeah, she might look different. She might also look different um, when you um, when she's in the stone circle with you. So it's not actually very important. Um, what is really important to know is that um, when she's in the stone circle, she's conscious of being uh, your inner child, a part of you. And when you take her back to the scene in your childhood, she is fully back there, which is very important for what we're doing here, because that's really what it's like subconsciously we always relive these kinds of childhood situations we're just not aware of where we're taken back but, but 
these scenes are triggered within us within us subconsciously all the time so with these sessions we're consciously going back which is why it is so healing and yeah so we will take her there but then um when she's back in the scene you will step into the scene at some point and that's when she is aware again of the fact that this is a moment from the past good <clears throat> enough talking let's get to it so I will guide you within. Um, please get very comfortable. If you tend to fall asleep during these sessions, then please sit up. And then you can close your eyes and relax. First, feel into your body. Relax your shoulders. Soften your belly. Relax your arms and legs. Relax your hands and feet. Soften your brow. And let all the tension go from the tiny muscles around your eyes. Relax your jaw and mouth and let your lips open slightly. And then feel into your breathing. Feel the air as it flows into your body at your nostrils. Feel your chest and belly rising slightly. And then witness how your breath flows out of your body again. Long and deep breaths in and out. And now I want you to feel into your mind, into all the energy that is gathered inside your head. And in breathing in, you gather this energy inside your head and breathing out, you let it effortlessly slide down your throat and all the way into your heart.
And now every time you breathe in, you feel your energy glowing brightly in your heart space. As your lungs fill with air, so your heart fills with your energy and your very essence is magnified. And every time you breathe out, you simply relax more and more into yourself. And now you see yourself standing in front of a wide circle of standing stones. In the middle grows a very tall tree whose roots grow right down to the earth's core and whose treetop is lost in the stars. You step into the circle and you walk towards the tree, feeling your feet on the ground. And you touch the tree trunk with your hands and you feel that you too are deeply rooted in the earth and carried and protected by her and you feel that you too reach high into the sky and are inspired and protected by it And then you see your inner child who has been waiting here for you since your last journey. And you greet her and you hug her. And then you take her by the hand and together you step out of the circle You find yourself back in a scene from your early childhood where you felt rejected by one or both of your parents. Look around you. Where are you? What is happening to you as a child? How does your inner child feel? Relive that feeling now. And now shift to feeling your parents. What are they feeling? And 
And what's underneath that feeling? Can you feel that you were not really the reason for their anger, stress, and this connection, but just a trigger? Step into the scene as who you are now and speak to your parent or parents. Say, I see you. I forgive you. I love you. Your awareness makes them see clearly and drop their defenses. They land right in their heart space and rush to comfort you as a child. She and you now know that you were never rejected in the first place. You were just a trigger for your parents' unresolved issues with themselves. Feel into this scene of love and peace and reunion for a moment. Breathing it into the very core of your being. Where it changes you and all limiting beliefs about yourself fall away. You can now feel how much all of life has always wanted you. And keeping this scene in your heart you now take your inner child by the hand and you go back to the stone circle. And you step in and you walk towards the tree. And you touch the tree trunk with your hands, feeling yourself supported by the earth and protected by the sky. Then you say goodbye to your inner child, knowing that you are both one right here at the center of your being. And you walk towards the standing stones. And you step out of the stone circle to come back to the here and now.
Now keep your eyes closed. Keep feeling and processing. And in your own time, you can start to feel into your body again and stretch. If you want to write something down to remember it later, you can do that now. And if you want to share what has come up for you in this journey and how you feel now, please feel free to do so. If you have any questions about the journey, then definitely ask those too. And I really want you to take it very easy over the next few days. This kind of healing session will work within you. And just try to be aware of what feelings come up that are connected to it. And yeah, try to be present with uh, what is happening in your life and how this is affecting everything. I'm here for you. You know where to find me. Lots of love to you. <laughs>